Ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Rico back at it again, ready to hit you with some news, updates, and a preview for the game against the Chargers. But before I get into it, we made some moves. Nate Orchard, former defensive end from the Browns, signed. Ready to give us a bit of a, a boost, man. We 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 lack the pass rush. You know what I'm saying? And which gets me into that, because the Dolphins Washington, you got to go. Whatever you were doing was not working. I said it this offseason. He was on the bubble. He wasn't making enough of an impact for us to even consider him in the starting lineup. And then we draft Harrison Phillips. The writing was all over the wall. So that being said, we brought back Ike, uh, Botker, Pico, defensive tackle. But anyway, that's the way the waiver wire goes and how things roll. Now, let me just let me just get into this real quick. Um, it only, it's only fitting that I give my boy a send off the same way I brought him in and got you excited for Nate Peterman. It's time. The same way I was just as excited to bring you the news of my man, Nate Peterman, when he won the job and they gave him the start last year against the Chargers. I was excited. You know what I'm saying? I was even rocking the Tyrod Jersey, but now new beginnings new beginnings and with new beginnings there are endings and i gotta give my guy a send-off i i fought for you nate i fought for you hard man i made a case i made people believe that you had it and you let us down <laughs> you let us down man and you know what i gotta give you a proper send-off my brother you know what i'm saying so nate i feel for you brother it's a wrap you tried your best you know what i'm saying and, and I've said it before, the good, the better, the best. You never let it rest until the good is better and the better is best. And my man, your best wasn't good enough. You tried. You tried your hardest and it just wasn't happening. So, we send you off to the bench. Hold that clipboard. <laughs> Nate, hold that clipboard. Hold that clipboard with some respect. Now, without further ado, let's get back into this because Josh Allen is taking over the reins. He is now our starting quarterback against the who? The Chargers. You remember the Chargers? You know, the same team that put Nate Peterman where he is right now, where the whole league looks at him as a damn joke. Well, guess what? The Chargers are coming to town in home opener. Is Josh Allen going to be ready? That is the 100% question that is on my mind. Is he going to be ready? Can he take the pressure? Because right now his confidence is high, but nothing worse than when your confidence is high and someone deflates that. That's what happened to my man Nate, deflated. Now we need you to be cut from a different cloth. You're gonna get hit, you're gonna get picked off, you're gonna get all that good stuff, but you gotta come with it and give us an opportunity that Nate couldn't do. Now. Let me, let me, let me, before I get everybody all pumped up and excited, let me give you, let me bring you back down to reality. We are starting a rookie, all right? An erratic one, a gunslinger, if you will. And with gunslingers, they tend to fit things where they're not supposed to go. Now, I just want to, I want to preface what I'm trying to say here. Let's go back. The Ravens game just ended. Nate Peterman came in. 5 for 18, 24 yards passing, 2 interceptions, abysmal, embarrassing, you name it. And that's against a starting, good defense, quality defense. Whoa, 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 whoa. let's back it up a little bit. Josh Allen got a chance to start against the Bengals. First half, let me give you some numbers. That's starting defense. 6 for 12, 34 yards and not moving the ball and taking five sacks. So I bring this information up to now explain to you guys, but we are going to get lumps. We're going to take lumps. So don't expect a whole huge, big ass upgrade. <laughs> it's not gonna be a huge upgrade. And thus the reason McDermott was like, it's not his time. Give it some time. Don't rush him in there. But Nate didn't do him any favors. 
you put trust in Nate. And Nate said, I'm going to do what I did last year and fuck it up. And that's exactly what he did. So Josh Allen will take his lumps. Don't expect big things. Now, if he comes in and lights it up, he might be the one. You know what I'm saying? Or he might be the one that gets his confidence broken. We hope for the latter. We want him to be the one. Bring on the Chargers. What are we to expect versus the Chargers? A lot of people will be wondering, yo, what, what are we expecting? We're expecting a high-powered offense is what we're expecting. Let me give you some stats and where they stand on what they did last week. Check this out with me. Chargers offense. Last week alone, 28 points. First in yards, 541 yards. Passing yards, 418, ranked second. Rush yards, 123, ranked 11th. You're looking at a top 15 top offense. This team is loaded with talent. Let me tell you who's on that team. Keenan Allen, Melvin Gordon, Mike Williams from Clemson, Antonio Gates came back. They got this new cat named Eckler. Listen, this offense is not a damn joke, and our defense better come to play. Speaking of defense, that Chargers defense is not terrible. They're all right. They allowed 38 points. You know what I'm saying? So they can be scored on. 22nd ranked against the pass, 13th against the run. So you know that they're middle of the pack. Middle of the pack. So you got to keep that in mind. Now here comes our offense. 32nd, 32nd, and 32nd. You're probably wondering what I'm talking about. Yards, passing yards, points. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We rush for 117 yards, which ranks us 26th. Yikes. So now, that was against a defense that's pretty damn solid and in the rain so can you look at the offense that way with nate running it and dable not really calling great plays Ugh. it's one of those things where you want to wash it away but you can't wash it away you we presented something on the field and that's what we got we're middle of the pack on defense are we are we going to be able to slow down philip rivers and that damn offense because you know rivers is a stat packing machine man that boy just throws and throws and throws so if we can slow them down we got a chance. Key players on the charges that we must be aware of. Phillip Rivers, Melvin Gordon, Mike Williams, Keenan Allen, Antonio Gates. We already know those, those names on the offense. Defensively, Derwin James is going to be surveying the middle of the field. They're trying to call my man the next Sean Taylor. Desmond King, corner. Casey Hayward, one of the best corners in the league, if not top five. We are going to have our hands full offensively if we think that we're going to come in and la di da and fire away no <laughs> we have our hands full now there are some weaknesses to this team and this is how we can exploit philip rivers got sacked six times there's our in six sacks that tells us the weakness is in the old line if we can penetrate disrupt the line get rivers off his block off his rhythm we have an opportunity. We have the guys that can do it. Kyle Williams, Starla Tule, Jerry Hughes, Shaq Lawson, which had a big game. I'm surprised I've even saying his name. But those are the guys we have that can make the difference going forward. The weakness is the line. Attack the line, get to the quarterback, it changes the whole game. Three keys to victory. Number one, let's establish the run. Can we do that? Can we get LaShawn McCoy the ball and not seven carries? Can we get Chris Ivory involved? Can we get Marcus Murphy involved? The run game is what is going to win us games this year. And if we can't run the ball, you better forget about the passing game. Number two, we must protect the quarterback. A, every single one of y'all, I'm not gonna name individuals, every single one of y'all, get your shit together. We must protect our investment in Josh Allen and protect him, period. He will do his job. Give him the time, he will deliver the ball. You don't give him the time, Prince it's the a wrap. Producer. And number three, and to me this is important, Brian Dable and David Culley. Y'all need to put a game plan together and get Josh Allen on the move doing things that he's comfortable doing. Get him comfortable and in his elements, and that way he's not thinking. The more you think, the more issues that happen. Get him free. Make his mind free and he can perform. That's how we win this game. Ladies and gentlemen, we are 0-1. <laughs>
What can we do about it? Nothing. That game is over with. We knew it was a shit show. It's now time to start over at home at New Era Field. And your boy will be there. So listen up and listen good. It's the Bills, Chargers, New Era Field. Get up, stand up, shout. It's your boy.